Welcome to Dark Horizon Creations. I'm Mike. This time we're taking a look at the Disney Pixar Lightyear Crystal Grade Series Buzz Lightyear and XL09 Flight Suit by Mattel. Now, if you hadn't already, please follow, like, and subscribe to my social media accounts on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get a notification of when I post new content. So here we have another Buzz Lightyear Crystal Grade Series figure, this time in the XL9 flight suit. And again, this is one of those figures that I was really impressed by. I like the appearance of the flight suit and the helmet being that dark metallic gray. And that really motivated me to get this figure. Something else I'll point out is that the facial expression on this action figure is different. Each of these figures also include a different type of hyperfuel crystal and collector's card to coincide with this series, which is, of course, a Walmart exclusive. On the packaging, you've got your Lightyear banner at the bottom, your Crystal Grade Series card back, nice bubble display on the packaging so that you can see the figure and all the accessories which are included. The back of your card back, you have your obligatory product shots of the figure in an action pose in the upper left. And in the upper right, you have the other Buzz Lightyear figures in the Crystal Grade series. Okay, here we have the figure outside of the packaging. You have the action figure, his flight helmet, the hyperfuel crystal in its transport canister, the Ivan pad, and of course the collector's card. Let's take a look at the collector's card first. Each of these Crystal Grade series figures includes the collector's card to coincide with the hyperfuel crystal for the particular ship. At the top is radiation. I don't know what these other three are. On the back, you have a schematic of the ship, and there is the XL9. I have not seen any kind of toy of that ship yet. It'd be really cool if they did produce each of these ships in the 5-inch scale, like the XL15. I wouldn't hold my breath, though. I don't think we're going to see that happen. Really cool. I do like this. All right, let's talk about the action figure. I do like the way this figure looks. Unlike the other figures in the Crystal Great series, this one seems to have a little bit of difficulty standing on his own, so I kind of had to position him a little differently, moving his feet around so he's kind of leaned forward, sort of top-heavy with this chest armor on. Nice paint apps on it. has a metallic sheen to it, as does his gloves and shoulder pads knee pads and his boots they almost look gunmetal in color and you can see he's got a gray uh, hood on for his helmet different facial expression on this figure his eyes are kind of going over to the side almost so if you want him to look straight ahead you kind of have to turn his head in different direction you could repaint his eyes if you like to customize Here's the helmet. I do like this. I like the way that it looks. Nice paint apps on the helmet. And it just goes down. A little bit of friction holds it in place and it's secure. It's not going anywhere. I do like this. I, I like the way this suit looks. It is very reminiscent of many different science fiction films that I've seen in the past where people are in some sort of space suit like this. Uh, Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan comes to mind. Aliens. Just different science fiction films where you see them in an EVA suit. They're really cool. Let's talk about articulation, and I'll remove the helmet once more for that. His head, of course, will rotate, swivel left and right, slight pivot, not much. Forward and lateral movement there at the shoulder, bicep rotation, single jointed elbow, elbow rotation, wrist swivel, no wrist pivot. He'll rotate at the waist, forward and lateral movement at thigh, no thigh rotation, single jointed knee, knee rotation, lower leg rotation, and his foot does not pivot.
As far as accessories, here is the Ivan control pad. You can see it's got some really nice paint apps on it. I do like the way this looks. Not exactly sure what it's supposed to do, but it is a cool looking little accessory. And here you have the Hyper Fuel Crystal Canister. And this is really nice. All of these are nice. They're included with the figures. Crystal, of course, is sealed. It doesn't come out, but you can see there's a lot of intricate details designs in these canisters and of course the crystal on the inside is translucent really nice looking i do think this is a really neat little thing to include now let's talk about height this particular action figure without the helmet on is right at five and about five and a quarter inches tall with the helmet on Probably going to be like the others at five and a half inches. Yup. Now, for comparison, I will bring out this version of Buzz from the Crystal Grade series in his XL15 flight suit. And you can see the difference in the facial expressions there and the overall appearance of the figure. Of course, the XL15 is a much bulkier suit than the one on the right. I don't care for the offset eyes of the XL9 version of Buzz. I also don't like the fact that he's top heavy and you kind of have to maneuver it around to, to get it in a stable pose. Overall, I think it's a, a neat figure. You know, it's not one that I would rush out to buy unless you are like me and you just like the flight suit and the way that it looks. It does have really nice paint applications on it, which makes it look nice in person. But the fact that it has offset eyes on the head sculpt, as well as being slightly unstable and having difficulty in trying to pose the figure, make it a little less attractive than the others in this series. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have the Disney Pixar Lightyear Crystal Grade Series Buzz Lightyear and XL09 Flight Suit by Mattel.